Knee complex is one of the most often injured joints in the body. There are two major movements, knee flexion and knee extension. Our topic is knee extension. Let us begin with knee extension, arthrokinematics. Arthrokinematics during knee extension. Fixed tibia. Femur glides posteriorly and rolls anteriorly on tibia. Fixed femur. Tibia glides and rolls anteriorly on femur. ACL restrain anterior tibial translation and prevents hyperextension. The ACL prevents the femur from sliding posteriorly on the tibia or the tibia from sliding anteriorly on the femur. Posterior cruciate ligament. It restricts posterior displacement, resists medial rotation in flex knee. The PCL prevents the femur from sliding anteriorly on the tibia or the tibia from sliding posteriorly on the femur. The lateral collateral ligament resists varus stress, limits anterior tibial translation, and limits excessive lateral rotation. Medial collateral ligament restricts excessive valgus and lateral tibial rotation, supports in resisting anterior tibial translation. Knee extensors, vastus medialis, origin, medial leap of linea aspera of the femur in the intertrochanteric line. Insertion, patella and tibial tuberosity via patellar ligament. Vastus intermedius, origin, anterior and lateral surface of the femur. Insertion, tibial tuberosity via patellar ligament. Vastus lateralis, origin, greater trochanter of femur. Insertion, tibial tuberosity. Rectus femoris, origin, anterior inferior iliac spine, insertion, tibial tuberosity, and patella. Screw home mechanism during knee extension in open kinematic chain. Tibia glides anteriorly on femur. Tibia rotates externally. Close kinematic chain. Femur glides posteriorly on tibia. Femur rotates internally on stable tibia. <laughs>